Life is a winding road No telling where it goes Driving through days and nights Won't stop for traffic lights Hi everyone, welcome back to Jesse at Home. In today's video, we're gonna be transforming my little fire pit area again. Um, but first up, we are going to be creating a pathway from this um, gate to our little fire pit, fire pit area. Malcolm is so funny. He had such a good time hanging out with us. He loves being outside and being into everything. He loved the dirt, he loved the buckets. He just loved everything about this process. So definitely keep an eye on him because he is so super cute. Um, but yeah, we're going to be creating a little pathway to the fire pit. And speaking of the fire pit, um, thank you so much to blue for sponsoring today's video they sent us a um a new fire pit back here and it is really really like modern looking it's black with a faux wood finish up top and then they also sent us um a deck box which is waterproof which <laughs> thank goodness because it rained like on and off for three days while trying to get this um makeover done and then a uh cooler table so it's like a table and then you lift up the top and it and you can stick drinks and ice in there and it stays cold which is really cool and really neat to have um and then also a food safe torch which i'll be sharing a quick and easy little recipe using the 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 blowtorch so it's it, they sent us a ton of things and it was really awesome to work with them and i'll be sharing all the details a little bit later on in the video but i just wanted to give them a huge shout out in the beginning of the video because without them this video would not would not happen definitely check the links in the description box So I wanted to keep this whole digging of the walkway area. I mean, I know it's kind of tedious watching somebody dig, <laughs> dig um, grass up, but Malcolm was so funny during this whole process. He was in and out, darting all over, walking over everything, getting in the way. He was just so stinking cute that I just wanted to keep it in. So I just sped it up super, super fast. Um, but yeah, props to my husband because it took us a couple hours to to dig this and he had already been working <laughs> earlier that day so he was pretty worn out by by the time we dug everything down um but yeah we had to in order for the gate to to swing open so totally worth it but it was definitely backbreaking work for him <laughs> um, So we did not have a like tampening tool um so my husband just went around and kind of um st stamped all of the dirt down compacted the dirt with this um block and of course malcolm had to get in there with his little lawnmower he has this little john deere 
um, ride on mower in the back and then we have our robot um, mower going as well um, trying to keep everything nice and then I was going to try to help him because this was really hard work but I was, I was too weak to do it but he did a good job of just kind of flattening everything and leveling everything um, so we could lay down the, the weed barrier. Been on and off again and again I don't know which way we're going No control You push me then you pull me back in Don't know if I can decipher How your mind works Yeah, you leave me wondering What it's like to feel your skin I will keep on trying till You give me a sign Give me a sign so this is the slate that was used on our old fire pit. We moved into this house um, a couple years ago. It had a slate and block fire pit, but the gas connection was really bad. So we decided to just tear down the fire pit. Um, and so we kept the slate because you never know, like we try to recycle, upcycle, and reuse a lot of um, the landscaping um, rocks and different things that was around the house like they spent a ton of money like they spent a lot of dollars on landscaping um when they originally had this this house i mean some of it kind of started to decay and and you know like we had to tear down the old fountain we had to tear down the um old pond but we reused the rocks from the pond we reused the rocks and the um pavers and the blocks from the fountain out front as well so you know we're thankful that we can not just throw things away but reuse and um use them in a new way I don't know which way we're going, no control You push me, then you pull me back in mm -mm -mm. We've been on and off again and again I don't know which way we're going, no control You push me, then you pull me back in mm -mm -mm. So give me a sign we got the first batch of the pea gravel, the darker one that you see here underneath all of the stones. We got that from our little local hardware store um, in our little town. Um, we do try to go in there and buy locally as, you know, as much as we can. But uh, they were closed on Sundays, which is, you know, it happens. So we had to go to Lowe's to get uh, more pea gravel because we underestimated how much we needed. Um, and of course it didn't match, but we made it all work out. Um, by layering the new pea gravel over top of the old one. The old one we really needed anyway because the slate is not like man-made. Man -made. It's not um, flat on the bottom. So we would have to use the pea gravel underneath to kind of level things out. Um, and it worked out really well. I'm really, really happy with how it all um, came together. I I honestly love the way this looks. I'm also going to be getting, I think it's called like mulch glue or something to kind of spray down on the pathway to kind of make the, the stones stick to each other. Um, but I love the way that this looked um, 
and I hope to replace a lot of the redstone around the deck with this pea gravel as well. We had a couple bags, so we decided to um, make this little area underneath of his swing set a little rock area because Malcolm loves to play in the rocks. So I figured we could put some rocks in there, put a little bit of some of the bigger, like smaller boulders in there, and then a couple of his like dump trucks and things so he can kind of move rocks around and sit under there without it being sand. I really didn't want to have him to have a sandbox because um, just, you know, we have a bunch of outdoor cats, including ours, running around and I really didn't want them messing, you know, messing with it in there too much. But so we put some of those bigger white rocks in there and then um, now he has a little play area. Won't you get on my way? Get on my way, I don't need this right now, right now, right now. So it was time to get this fire pit area cleaned up. I had put this couch over here. This was in our cabana. This used to be on our deck and then I moved it to the cabana and I figured, hmm, I'm gonna try it out here. Maybe be a little bit more comfortable to sit out here. I just didn't like it. It was too bulky out here. Maybe if I got like a curved sofa or something. Although I do love the rocking chairs around the fire. Um, but sometimes you just wanna kinda lounge a little bit more. So I'm moving the, um, the couch back over to the cabana my husband wanted to clean up this fence again we just cleaned this fence not too long ago um but it gets so dirty i don't know if it's from cutting grass or what but it gets so dirty over here so he just, since we did this little pathway um he wanted to clean it up now i know there's kind of like an empty spot right there um beside the pathway but in the spring i'm gonna be planting some flowers and things like that but i just didn't want to plant anything especially when it's really starting to get a little bit cold um, and I didn't want it to um, just die already. <laughs> Choose to let this slip, but I'm here somewhere in the ocean. Still wrapped around your fingertip, just like beating round the bush. I'm half the man I used to be after being dumped in the ocean. We got all of this done just in time for it to start really raining outside. It poured on and off for the next few days, like the next three days, it rained on and off. Um, so my husband put together all of the items that Blue sent us, the fire pit table, um, the deck box, and the little, um, cooler table. He, he put it together while we were watching a TV show in the living room since it was raining outside. Um, and he put it all together for me. So he is definitely the real MVP of this video. Hey, no, 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 no.
So like I said, thank you so much to Blue for sponsoring today's video. I am so happy with how my little fire pit area turned out. Um, the fire pit came with a waterproof cover. Thank goodness, as you can see, there was rain all over it. And when I removed the cover, the table was perfectly dry and ready to be lit. Um, so I can show you how nice this table is. I love the matte black. I love the faux wood on top. Um, we have some fire rocks in there and it was super easy to start. You just push the, um, the little knob and you hit the igniter and it turns on so easily. Malcolm, of course, was attracted to the fire. He loves the fire pit. Um, we have been using fire pits for quite a while, so he knew not to mess with it, but he loves looking at it. He thinks it looks so cool. Um, and he definitely knows not to touch, not to touch. I know that I'm obvious, but I made this way. But why didn't I stay when I had the chance? Maybe it will pass by someone save me for a pass out. I'm too lonely to be done in my drink at this pace. Yeah. As you can see, this hundred gallon deck box um, got rained on as well. Um, it came with a little lock in case you need to lock your items up in there um, but inside it is dry as can be it has plenty of room for your outdoor cushions or anything that you might want to store in there outdoor toys and I really like how it has those hydraulic hinges so it, it just opens really easily and closes really easily and everything stays you know in line and um, and waterproof and you have this little cushion that you can put on top if you want um, for extra seating around the fire pit This little outdoor cooler table is super neat. Um, it's a great so we can have a little area to put our little drinks in. And when you lift it up, it holds a ton of ice. I have two bottles of water in there because we always need some water when we're outside playing. And um, you can add like little snacks in there, little food, whatever. It just lifts right on up and you just clamp um, the little thing so it can sit upright and it also makes like a little like cocktail table like if you just want to leave that up have your drinks in there and then you can use it as like a standing table i think that's really neat as well i'm definitely looking forward to using this throughout all of the seasons but as you can see you just push the little clamp right there in the middle and it holds the tabletop up so this is definitely going to come in handy when we are entertaining Next up, I'm going to make a little s'mores dip with this graham cracker crust. I'm going to put some chocolate bars in there, and then I'm just going to sprinkle the top with some marshmallows. Um, Blue had sent me this food safe um, blowtorch to use, so I had never used one of these. I think it's really neat. Um, I was a little nervous to see if it would work on this because you can sear um, steaks, you can do all kinds of things, but I wanted to see if I could accelerate this dip. And even though it looks a little charred, I like my marshmallows a little charred, it turned out so delicious. It melted the chocolate, it made the marshmallows all melty and delicious. It tasted just like it had been out on the campfire or in the grill. Um, absolutely would 100% um, use this all the time now that I know how to use it. Um, I had saw recipes on using the food save blowtorch to like um, torch your tomatoes to add um, or your vegetables or like make creme brulee. I'm not that fancy, so I figured I'd start on something easy, but easy by melting some marshmallows and chocolate. Malcolm was unsure about trying it. Um, he also really likes to feed himself, so he's a big boy. He doesn't want anyone to feed him, but Madeline and I definitely tore this up, sitting outside by the fire pit, watching Malcolm play. It was really a nice day, a nice way to end the day um, with a break in the rain, but thank you so much to Blue for sponsoring today's video. You can definitely check out all of these items. Um, they're listed in the description box below. Um, and thank you so much for watching this video. Hopefully you found it entertaining. Hopefully you um, are interest, interested in any of the items that I shared with you. Um, and I will share a quick little night shot at the end um, of the video. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you next time.